Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to test a Quarkus application with Wiremock and RestAssure. I already created a simple Quarkus project in order to contact an external API to fetch the information about a specific TV series. I have my PolyMixML with all the Quarkus dependencies and my application is exposed the TV series resource. This TV series resource is using the TV series proxy. It's a um, REST client in order to fetch uh, for a specific title all the information about the, that TV series. If we got, for example, inside API TV maids and then we put, for example, Stranger Things, you can see that the service returns all the information about Stranger Things. Now let's run the application. So open the terminal and type mwem compile Quarkus dev to run the project development mode. Very good. Now let's try. Let's open the browser and type localhost 8080 slash tv series and then the title in this case stranger things here you can see that we fetch the information uh, from the external service if we compare the information are the same very good the first thing is to test um, this um, tv series uh, resource so let me just create a new java class tv series resource test and of course i'm going to test the get method so let's put the annotation quarkus test let's import the package good now let's go inside the get method and, and now uh, let's use rest assure so type given dot then when dot in this case get it's a slash tv series and then the title stranger things dot then dot body so the body the id in 93 let's import and then i want to check also on the title so body title equal to of course Stranger Things, it's in the name, it's not the title. Here, Stranger Things, of course. Let's copy, let's paste it there. And then I want to check also the URL. URL equal to And then I want to test also the language. It's English. Good. And then I want to test also the official site. Yes. Let's check it. Copy good and then of course the status code so let's type dot status code response dot status dot okay dot get status code very good so let's run it
I got an error, let me check inside the log. A no error, 21 should be the title. Let me check exactly the parameter. So, okay. So this one is not the status. Okay, this one is not good because we need to put the, we need to type param and there we need to specify the param. So in this case it's title and then um, stranger things. Very good, let's try it again. Good, our test passed successfully. Very good. So as you can imagine, in this case, we are actually using the real API, the external API for fetch this information. Uh, in this case, now I don't want to use the a real API, I want to mock it. And in this case, we can use the wire mock Java library. So the first thing, go inside the pomxml and add the Maven dependencies to use the wire mock library. Let's import the dependency. Now let's go inside our TV series resource test. And after the annotation quark, Quarkus test, we need to add a new annotation Quarkus test resource. And inside we need to specify a Java class. mock tv proxy dot class create class inside the package .org .js. yes and this one will be our wire mock class in order to mock the, um, the server the thing is to create our mock server so wire mock server i'm going to call it wire mock server inside the start i'm going of course to start this, this server inside the stop i'm going to stop it so let's type wire mock equal new wire mock server i'm going to put the port 889 then wire mock server dot start and then we need to type configure for and then of course the port 8089 very good. Now instead of return null, we need to return a collection dot singleton map, and then we need to put two argument in the second, of course the wiremox server dot base URL, and the first we need to put what we put inside, what we have inside the application properties. Let's copy. Let's paste it there. Very good, inside the stop, I'm going to check if the wiremox server is different from null. If, if so, I'm going to stop it. Very good. Then we need to type the stub4 method in order to uh, match all the requests that we are doing to the API TV maze. So we need to type get URL matching and uh, star as a URL regex. We need to put the priorities, I'm going to put 10 and then in this case we'll return our response proxy form and then the URL of apitvmaze.com
actually inside the application properties I need to take this part to put inside the singleton map yes exactly like that now it's good and now we need to stub the URL single search shows so again stop four let me check so single search and then shows yes search slash shows and then I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put for example as title my TV series good and then in this case I will return a response with the content type application JSON and with a specific body for example take this response let's copy let's paste it there and let's change all the information so for example the ID I'm going to put one the name is in, in this case my TV series the URL I'm going to change there from stranger things to my tv series i'm going to remove the summary and all the other information i'm going to leave just the language and official site i create a mock server that is listening for all the requests that is coming to the api tv maze and when it fetch the, the request a single search slash shows param my tv series it will return a mock response I want to test it so I'm going to create uh, I'm going to copy the existing test method I'm going to change the name from get to get with wiremock of course and in this case so I'm going to leave everything but I'm going to change just the parameter so the title in this case is my tv series because I want to hit my wiremock why wiremock server the id it's one the name is my tv series the url i changed it from stranger things to my tv series the language is english and the official site is the same let me check slash shows here and what i put and here it's slash shows i forgot an s So let's run the test. Very good, it's worked. So he hit our mock server. Of course, I can run both the test. Very good, it's worked. The source code of this project you can find inside my GitHub repository. Quarkus Warmock testing. Feel free to clone it. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you like it. Subscribe to the, my channel if you want. And if you have any question or doubt, please contact me. You can find me on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram and see you in the next video about Quarkus. Bye!